Uh, welcome back. Let's um, take a look at the papers. Uh, we're on the own stretch. Let's see uh, how much ground we can cover. Let's have a complete sports uh, today. And um, this one is interesting. Uh, Coach Gennard Raw, a statement attributed to him uh, that uh, we are two wins away from the Nations Cup. And so many other interesting stories around uh, the Nations Cup. Uh, Ahmed Musa says, Eagles will miss. Uh, Mikel, that's captain of the team, uh, saying uh, he's confident that Libya will fall. Let me allow you to react to uh, those two headlines quickly. Uh, for me, I, I think that he is, uh, the coach is spot on and he, he wants a win and he has to talk positive you know, to the players and talk positive also to the public. And I think that that is what we all need. And then uh, Ahmed Musa also speaking, saying that we can get it right. I think we can get it right. He's going to be the captain of the day. And I think all things being equal, we have no reason not to pick the three points. All right. Yes, we might have hiccups in uh, Tunisia, but can we just pick the three points? Yes, I don't say yes, one thing at a time. All right. Okay, let's go to uh, Sports and Life now. That's the next paper. And it's dominated by stories um, about tomorrow's game against Libya. Uh, let's start with Gennot Raw speaking. Uh, he says Eagles will not miss uh, Victor Moses in that match against uh, uh, Libya tomorrow. Igala has also been talking. I'm not under pressure to score. Um, what stories on uh, Libya versus Nigeria? It will be once Eagles. Libya will be dangerous. So... It seems everyone knows that already. Mm -hmm. And um, Mikel begs Nigerians, you wonder why? I might have to get a copy of Sports and Life there. Libya will fall home and away. That's according to John Ogu. While um, Ege Chukwezenwa uh, says he's not uh, concerned uh, by Ben Troll. He's staying ready. And whenever it's called up to play, he will give his best. Then... Um, which, the, the, the one that one gets me talking is, is, is um, about Mikel. You know, Mikel is injured. There's no way you are going to force an injured player to come and play, you know, in, a, in an encounter like this that's very crucial. And uh, don't forget that we missed the last two editions of the uh, AFCON Championship. And so mm. we need the best legs. And Mikel was gracious to say, look, I am not fit. I don't want to play. So, Mikel, kudos to you. You are here with us in spirit. But we are there with you also in spirit, and I think that Nigeria should take this. And the other way, um, I think that Moses, sir, Victor sir, Moses, you're not missing him. We are missing him. Let us not deceive well, the ourselves. Coach says no. uh, the coach might say so because I mean, psychologically, you think that somebody else can take his place when he decided, or he decided, yeah, he decided to you know not to play again for Nigeria. There might be a lot of brick bats backroom noise and some other things that we are not aware of. But if he has decided, and I think the Pinnick Amaju led uh, NFF uh, leadership is uh, trying to talk to him. And then here we are, the coach should not even talk about the player. I say he has, he's a young player, and I think that we can woo him back and say, you have played for Nigeria, can you just continue? So you want Moses back in the team? I let's want him speak, back. Let's quickly look at sports and so on before we go. Musa, Eagles with Mesa, Mikel, not Moses, interesting. Olivia injects players and four Super Eagles uh, clash arrive in New York. It's a do or die. Uh, Raws uh, raw. Interesting. Real sues Ronaldo. Sues over Ronaldo. Salah escapes sanction. And um, yeah, a lot of football uh, transfer stories as well. So Juve offers Ramsey 250,000 pounds uh, weekly to move over uh, to Turin. Mbappe, my life has turned upside down. Mbappe, what a player. Well, I mean, for, for a teenager, what he's doing is just He's a 19-year-old, so skillful, so powerful, so, I mean, playing with a player like Neymar mm. and, you know, eclipsing him, to so to, so to speak, because he's, he's become the superstar at oh, yeah. PSG. Mm. And I think that that boy deserves And being also of African origin gets me thinking and say, Africa, we've got the talent okay. to rule the world. <laughs> okay. Ben, I want to thank you for your time on the show. We really appreciate your time here today. Always a delight. Thank All you. right. Thank you for allowing us to be a part of your day. I'm Yemi Adebayo. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm Taya Salam. <laughs>